For Snail's Picnic, I'm going to animate a snail that I've already downloaded and clipped moving across this garden. Now you can use anything you want. You can use a ball, you can use a car, a bicycle, anything that you want as a demonstration of simple movement. Like I said, I've already clipped it out, so I'm going to come over here and make a copy of it and add it in here as a new layer. Next, I'm going to grab it, move it down here, and that'll be the starting point for the snail. Next, I'm going to duplicate these layers, and I'm going to duplicate a lot of them. So I'm going to come down here to the duplicate button. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 layers of the flower. Next, I'm going to select the clipboard and make an equal number of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I need to interleave them have them alternate between the background and the snail. Okay, it looks like they're all in place. You need to make sure that it alternates between the background and the layer with the snail on it. Just scroll through it. Make sure you don't have any that are doubled up. Now, turn off all of these eyes. So now you can't see anything. Turn the bottommost layer on, you have the garden. Turn the next one on, you can see part of the snail. Now we're going to go up to, or to the next version of the snail. Turn on the next layer up of the snail. Make sure that's the active layer. Make sure that you have chosen for the move tool, move the active layer. Click on it, and now we're going to Move it about half a snail. And repeat, go up to the next layer of the snail. Click on, on the proper layer and click on the proper layer. And let's move them along. And we're just going to repeat this. Now it looks like I'm just a few short of having them go off the screen, so I'm going to make a few more layers of each. And 
move them down so that once again they are interleaved. Now at this point you have to be a little bit careful. You can see where that snail is and where that one is, but this one has a whole bunch that are stacked on top of each other. So we're going to choose this one, moving forward about half again, come up to this one, move forward about half, and come to this one, and let's move them basically off the screen. Okay, next we need to go back and turn all of these other eyes back on. And now we're going to be merging downward. I'm going to click on this one, right click, merge down, and I'm just going to do that on every layer that's a snail. Let's go back, make sure that there aren't any exposed snail layers. Now let's do an animation test. Filters, animation, playback, and we're not going to see anything because it's too small. Look at the size of this image, so let me go ahead and scale it down. Still going to be rather large, but let's test it out now. And it looks like we have one speedy snail down there. After you've saved the file, the next thing to do would be to export it. File export as, give it a name. Change the extension, the last three letters, to GIF. Click Export. Go ahead and choose Crop. We're exporting it as an animation. For the way that I did it, disposal meth method is one frame per layer. Use the same disposal method and export. Now it's time to locate the file. Should have been under documents. Here it is right here. We'll double click on it. It should open up in a web browser and play all on its own.